I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. Flagler County could lose control of vacation rentals in a measure that's advancing in Tallahassee. John Arking reports. On Tuesday, a Senate panel approved a proposal that would preempt regulation of vacation rentals, including licensing and inspection to the state. One of those on the Senate Commerce and Tourism Committee is Senator Travis Hudson, a Republican representing the 7th District, which includes Flagler, St. John's, and northern Volusia County. In 2014, he and State Representative Paul Renner were instrumental in passing the current law, which was lobbied heavily for by Flagler County officials, in which local governments were given the authority to regulate short-term rentals. As late as last June, Hudson told WNZF he was still in support of that stance. I think we had a good law that we passed in 2014 with the input of the commission and the county administrator, the county attorney. Uh, Should we, and that law basically says you have full local control except for three parameters. Should we expand on those three parameters and talk about on-street parking and garbage and fines? Maybe, but I think the local control itself needs to stay in place, and that's what we're going to continue to fight for. And as it goes through the process, if it comes in front of me, I'll continue to listen to the community and see where we need to amend it. In supporting the new measure Tuesday, Hudson said his change of heart was at least partly prompted by new ordinances at the local level he believes go above and beyond regulation and essentially are trying to deny landowners the right to rent out their properties. If approved, the new measure would roll back local vacation rental ordinances passed after June 1st of 2011 and only give local governments the ability to pass new regulations if they applied equally both to private homes and vacation rentals. That would, on a practical basis, make such regulations impossible. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Arden. And then there were nine. An advisory committee has narrowed down the list of candidates desiring to be the next Flagler County Schools superintendent. Those candidates internally include Executive Director of Leadership and Operations Earl Johnson and Matanzas High School Principal Jeffrey Reeves. Former district employee Vernon Orndorff also made the short list. Other candidates include Ron Wagner, Kathy Middlestadt, Eric Jackson, Janet Womack, and Matthew Lutz. The Flagler County School Board will discuss candidates at its February 18th meeting and choose finalists on February 25th. A final decision on Superintendent Jim Taker's replacement could come by mid-March. Who is involved in the Mednex project and what can we expect from it? Palm Coast Mayor Melissa Holland said first, Senator Travis Hudson and Representative Paul Renner. She said that they have supported the regional project that affects from Nassau County to Brevard County. Then, the mayor said, there are the institutions who are involved in the town center project. Not just Advent Health as a collaborative partner of Mednex. We have Mayo, Andy Anderson, Baptist Health, Brooks Rehabilitation. Holland said the project would spur education and jobs in the region. This truly will take a pipeline of classroom to career using the K through 12. Jacob Oliva is supportive of this project. He sees it as a true benefit of true job creation. This is economic development at its finest. The mayor said between now and 2024, some 200,000 health care jobs would be needed in the region. To hear the whole interview, download the Flagler radio app and then go to the Free for All Friday podcast. Tomorrow, the Job Growth Grant Fund. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. Two Benel police officers are moving on up. With more, here's Tony Magoo. At Monday's regular meeting of the Bunnell City Commission, Bunnell Police Department officially promoted two officers. Bunnell Police Chief Tom Foster had this to say about both men. Again, they're doing a great job. I'm very proud of our entire agency, and the men and women are making the city of Bunnell proud. Corporal Dominic Guido was promoted to the rank of sergeant. Sergeant Guido has been with Bunnell PD since 2016 and was with the Flagler County Sheriff's Office for 12 years prior. Officer Scott Bagwell was also moved up to the rank of corporal. Corporal Bagwell was hired as a full-time officer by the Bunnell PD in 2014 after graduating from Daytona State. Each officer stood before the commission, and in a traditional pinning ceremony, a member of the officer's family pinned their new rank on them. At the ceremony, Bunnell Mayor Robinson was pleased with the work Chief Foster and the men and women under his command have been providing for Bunnell. Thank you for the great job you're doing, Chief. You know it starts at the top. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Tony Magoo. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.